So we're in rehearsals this week for House on Cold Hill. It's really exciting seeing it all come together. The best thing about doing the production is the rehearsal time, you know, and we're having such a great time. Working on this production so far has been amazing. Rehearsals have been great, everyone's lovely. I'm really excited to be working on a play that's based around a book and a, a writer as um, well established as Peter James. Even though it's a serious play, we want to scare people, obviously. But coming into rehearsals, there's a jovialness about it, which is quite lighthearted and good. To describe the play to you without giving away any spoilers would be quite difficult. So all I can say is it's a ghostly thriller. So the plot is about a family who move into an old house. And, uh, and what transpires then? Ollie and his wife Carol, they move to the countryside with their daughter Jade. What should be the dream home turns out to be quite a nightmare. You're not sure if the house is actually haunted or if these weird people from the village are trying to force them out of the house. It really keeps you guessing. And it's about their experiences of living in this house which, like every other building, has a personality all of its own. And everything looks great and rosy and then you kind of quite quickly learn that there's more to the house than meets the eye. In fact, it's haunted and horrible things have happened there. I, like everybody else in the play, get a little bit more than I bargained for. It's a ghost story, it's a thriller. There's lots of twists and turns throughout the show. There's one big twist at the end. Very scary. Uh, be prepared.